time to know the truth and walk in love. Grafted in the olive tree, Israel, both Jew and Gentile, reaching out to all the world with many signs. For the key of Abraham has been given to mankind, and the key of Let's join Archbishop Dominica Bierman in Global Awakening. So the moment that we separate ourselves from all the Jews, we also separate ourselves from the Messiah. Because the Bible says to us, salvation is of the Jews. So we separate ourselves from the Jews, we separate ourselves from salvation. So now another gospel came in instead of the gospel made in Zion, a Roman gospel. The laws of Elohim in the Torah now for man-made doctrines of demons. The love and honor for Israel as the mother of all the nations for hatred and dishonor towards everything Jewish. Now people did not follow anymore a Jewish Messiah but a Greek Christ. And they began to make pictures of him and statues of him. A little blonde hair, blue eyes, looking a little bit of Very different than a Galilean Israeli. In fact, some people began to even paint all kinds of paintings uh, with Yeshua, well, Jesus Christ being black and being Chinese, uh, all kinds of different pictures of him. And it's okay, they said, because he's all things to all men. So everybody made themselves their own Christ the way they'd see him. And the DNA, the DNA, the information, the genetic information of the Messiah, of the true Jewish Messiah was lost. Now that made it easy then to persecute the Jews. Because, you know, now since the Jews now are under the curse because according to uh, that theology, then the Jews kill Christ and they deserve to die. Now they would not identify the Jews with the Messiah. So it's easy, easy to persecute them, easy to kill us. And this disease continued going on and on and on until today. And you say until today? Can it be that until today? Yes, until today. Until this moment. It's still today right there. The cancer of religion is right there. The mutated DNA is right there in the lives of many, many Christians. Now, on top of now persecution for the Jews came with a mutation of the DNA, also came a hatred towards the Torah and everything Jewish. 
，就是除了那个把这个 DNA 这个东西拿掉以外呢，还有他也把那个妥拉也拿掉。Then came in the dark ages， 然后就是呃黑暗时期就临到。And then comes in Luther's reformation。那接下来就是那个呃这个路德的这样子，马丁路德的一个改革。Luther detects that something's wrong in the Catholic Church。那在那个，他发现了一些在呃天主教教会有一些的不对的事情。But he still himself with a mutated DNA。但是他自己本身呢，却是把这个 DNA 拿掉的这个这样子的一个结果。He ends up trying to evangelize the Jews。他最终呢，他希望能够把那个传福音给这个啊犹太人。In the name of Jesus Christ. From、uh, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ's name. And the Jews have been killed and humiliated and persecuted in the name of Jesus Christ. 但是呢，犹太人过去呢，被这样的一个耶稣基督这个名呢，呃，受到逼迫，受到杀害。So they don't want to hear anything about him. 他们不想听到任何关于这个人的事。Martin Luther gets offended. 那马丁路德就非常的被冒犯。And when he got offended, he wrote a book. And the book is called "On the Jews and Their Lives." Then he talks about the Jews and their lives. And in chapter 15, he writes exactly what to do with the Jews. He writes that they should burn their houses and synagogues. 他就讲到说，他们的房子啊，他们的会堂应该被焚，会火焚烧。He should forbid them to、uh, read or study the Torah。他们应该被禁止要读那个妥拉。And、uh, they should be completely forbidden of exercising anything Jewish。他们不能够禁止做任何跟犹太人有关的那些的事情。And if rabbis teach anything like that, they should lose their lives or at least cut off their arm or their leg. 如如果呢，那个那些那些那个拉比呢，他们教导那个妥拉的话，他们因为可能失去他们生命或者他们手背会被呃责罚。He writes that the Jews shouldn't have any privileges of moving around freely. They should be confined into ghettos. 他们啊不可以自由啊，就是行走游呃游行，他们应该被啊放在一个就是隔离区的里面。He writes that the Jews should not be allowed to work normally. They should do forced labor. 那他说呢，犹太人不应该呃有可以有任意的工作，他们应该是被迫去做那个劳力的事情。And the last instruction. 那最后一个那个。He says that if this is not enough. 那假如这些还不够的话呢 ？Then he charges all the princes and the nobles in all the different provinces in Europe. 他就吩咐那些各地各省的那些的贵族或是贵胄 ，to find a better way， 来寻找更好的方式 ，where they could get rid completely， 可以能完全的来奴来来摒除他们 ，of what he called the devilish burden of the Jews。他讲到的这个事就是非常呃非常麻烦的这样的一个重担。Shalom. I want you to know that God loves you, but He hates your religion. What? That's right. God hates religion. He loves people, but He hates religion. Every religion that I've seen and that I've studied separates you from God. That's right. It usually puts God in a box. You usually don't get a relationship with the Most High God. He created man for fellowship. So listen, my wife wrote a book all about this called "Eradicating the Cancer of Religion." Please read it. You'll be blessed, and you'll get a relationship with the Most High God like you've never known before. And now let's return to Global Awakening with Archbishop Dominica Bierman. In his book Mein Kampf, 那他的书呢 ？His book、uh, Mein Kampf Hitler. 那那个就是来到给那个希特勒。His book Mein Kampf means my struggle. My struggle, okay. 那就是那个希特勒的书是我的挣扎。He wrote. 他写到 that he only followed the instructions. 他只是单单的跟随这样的一个指示 of the biggest anti-Semite person of his time. 
the greatest reformer that ever lived, Martin Luther. So you can see that this cancer of religion continues to go even through the Protestant Reformation. Which affected all the way to the evangelical movement. Even though in the evangelical movement many begin to wake up because it was a move of the Spirit. And people began to get revelation that actually Israel is very important. Great teachers begin to arise and say, wait a moment, the Jews, they are very important. And so some things begin to change because Yahweh is on the road of the restoration of all things. He's on the road of the restoration of the DNA. The DNA that exploded, that that mutated uh, after the fourth century. People now begin to get revelation even inside of mainland China about Jerusalem. A lot of it was miraculous revelation. And so things now begin to change, begin to be restored. But every time that there is a move of Yah, every time that there is a restoration, the old movement persecutes the new movement. We can see, for example, that the Baptists were persecuted by the Protestants. Because the Protestants were baptizing by aspersion and the Baptists were restoring baptism by immersion. But the Protestant believed in aspersion, in other words, just okay. sprinkle of water. Which is not biblical. But then came the Pentecostals. And the Pentecostals were praying in tongues. And now the Baptists, they persecuted the Pentecostals. Because the Pentecostals now were restoring the baptism in the Holy Spirit. And then came the charismatic. They were restoring the gifts of the Spirit. And at the same time, Messianic worship began to arise in the body. The Vedic dancing. The use of the instruments. And the special keys on the keyboard that are more Jewish keys. They call them the minor keys. And now the Pentecostals began to persecute the charismatic. Well, this thing keeps going and going and going like that. 
And then there was the messianic. But the messianic was a little bit different. The messianic was at first not necessarily a restoration move for the whole church. The messianic at first was a, a special movement for the purpose of making a space for Jews that were being saved. Because, you see, when the Jewish people would get saved anytime, they needed to become Christians. A Jew needed to renounce his Judaism. Most of the time, he needed to prove that he was a Christian by desecrating the Shabbat and eating pork. He definitely would not be allowed to call the name of Yeshua. Because all that was considered Judaizing. So, in order to make a space for Jews to get saved and stay Jews, they began to form messianic synagogues. And those messianic synagogues looked like the normal Jewish synagogues. They had this ark where there was inside the Torah scrolls, just like in a normal synagogue. A move of Yah began to happen in those messianic synagogues. The Holy Spirit began to work inside, bringing in much joy. Joy through dancing and worship and even use of flags and banners. And there was a feeling of family in those synagogues. Something that was missing in the normal church. Slowly, slowly, Gentiles began to come to those messianic synagogues. They were attracted by the freedom, by the joy, by the music, by the dancing. Something that they were missing in their normal churches because it was pretty cold in there. <laughs> they would stand up in the church and open a hymnal. Open to page 52. And let us all sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very somber. Hallelujah. Very, very somber. Very rigid. And they were dying. And all of a sudden, they hear about this messianic synagogue. And they go in. And people hug you at the door. And they say shalom. And they go dancing and jumping and singing. And so it began to attract some Christians. Except there was a little problem. And the problem was that those messianic synagogues were not ready for Gentiles. Because we Jews were so rejected everywhere in all the churches, now we had a place for ourselves where we could worship the Messiah Yeshua freely. 
。那因为往往呢，这些啊、呃，这个犹太人是被教会所拒绝的。为现在他们自己有自己的小地方啊，他们可以自由的敬拜啊。Without the need to eat pork. 那也不用吃猪肉啊。Without the need to call him Jesus Christ, we could call him Yeshua in our synagogues. We don't need to call him Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. We can call him Yeshua. And we could celebrate Shabbat. And we can celebrate the Sabbath day. And nobody would tell us anything because it's our messianic synagogue. No one would tell us that there's something wrong because it's our own synagogue. And the mainline churches would kind of begin to accept that as long as it was the Jews there. 那很多大大部分的教会开始能接受他们，只只要他们里面都是犹太人，没有问题。But remember, we are at the time of the restoration of all things. 可是你要记得，我们现在来到一个时刻，是要复兴万物的时候。And when Yahweh is on a move, He is on a move. 当亚威就是神在运行的时候，他真的就是在运行哦。And so. They couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep the Gentiles out of the Messianic synagogues. So they couldn't keep If we only take China for example, that already outnumbered us all the way. Let's just take China for example, that already outnumbered us all the way. Let alone the whole world. 就是更不用讲全世界。The issue is that those Jews were still very self-protective because we've been persecuted by Christianity for 1,800 years. 那因为呢，这些弥赛亚基督徒他们还是非常的保护自己，因为过去他们一千八百年都是被基督教所逼迫的。And so sometimes some Gentiles felt a little bit rejected when they went into the Messianic synagogue. 反而那些外邦人会觉得他们有感受到一点点被拒绝的感觉。A little bit like outsiders. 好像他们是局外人。Like somebody that is allowed to take a look at a very beautiful shop, but it's not your shop. 那就好像我们看到那个很漂亮的那个橱窗或是那个商店，但是那不是你的。And then in 1991， 就是在一九九一年的时候呢 ，Yahweh downloaded， 那 Yahweh 呢就在下载 ，a terminology， 有一个名词。We were then my husband and I in Bible school in Dallas, Texas. 那我们那时候，我跟我丈夫呢是在达拉斯的那个一个啊圣经学校里面。And I was praying about our ministry. 我正在为我们的事工来祷告。And I said, Lord, what is the name of this ministry? 那我就问神说，到底我们的事工的名字应该叫什么呢 ？And I hear as clear as you can hear my voice today. The name is Kad Esh Map Ministries. Kad Esh Map Ministries. Kad Esh Map Ministries. Kad Esh is two words. It's not Kad Esh. It's Kad Esh. Two words. And Kad Esh means vessel of fire or vessel of revival. It is just saying that this meaning is a fire of revival or a fire of revival. And then map, map, was an acronym. Then map was an acronym for the Jewish people. And then map was an acronym for these words. 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 Not only messianic, but also apostolic, also prophetic, and this was to be the next move after the messianic. I had never heard about it before. This was 1991. 这是一九九一年的时候。Let's count. From 1991, I think, if I count correctly, it's 27 years. 那我们来算算一下，到今日大概二十七年。And that's the time when the Messianic Apostolic Prophetic Movement was born. 
。那那个时候就是这个弥赛亚使徒先知运动的出生的时候。It was a an idea. 它只是一个想法而已。It was a vision. 那是一个意象。It looked like what? 那那看起来就像什么 ？Messianic, apostolic, 使徒性的 ，prophetic 先知。What's this? 那是什么呢 ？And I I remember I told the Lord that day. 我记得我那时候告诉主说。I said, Lord, can can you give me a name easier like River of Life or Word of Faith or you know something like that. 那你可不可以给我？我就跟主说，你可不可以给我一个简单的名字啊？比如说那个生命河啦，还是什么那个复兴泉啊 ？It took me a few years to understand that Cad Ash was our ministry. 那直到几年之后，我才明白明白说 Cad Ash 是我们的。A ministry of revival. 那就是一个复兴的一个事工。That Yahweh would begin to send us to many, many nations, lighting up revival fires. 那亚非会送我们，差遣我们到各国去来点燃这个复兴的火。But Map was not only a ministry, but it was a movement. 那 Map 这三个字呢，其实不是一个事工，而是一个运运动。A movement that was a movement for the purpose of restoring the DNA to the body of Yeshua. This message by Archbishop Dominica Beerman will continue next time on Global Awakening. You know that we are celebrating 70 years since the establishing of the State of Israel and the opening of the United States Embassy. Absolutely a historical time. And so we can commemorate and have a memento that can we can show to our grandchildren, to our great grandchildren, and forever we can have it as an heirloom. There is this new shofar that has been manufactured in Israel for the 70th. It has the letter 70 there and Israel, and it is covered with sterling silver. It's got a stamp of sterling silver on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It blows great. I'm going to ask Rabbi to blow it, and you will see that it, though it is small, it blows great. You can have it in your purse. You can take it on a mission, or you can have it anywhere, displaying it for all generations to come. So don't miss your shofar. I don't know how many there is going to be that they're going to make. You order yours today. Go ahead. Small and powerful shofar. I will bless them that bless thee. I will curse them that curse thee. All the families of the earth will now be blessed. As we rise up together and reach out to all the nations grafted in the holy tree.